Paul. See the things we joke about ain't for the mouth of a saint. They could do it if they want, but look, I know that I can't. Man, I'm determined to be a godly man. Watch the way you talk to man. Spiritual vision, like I'm living in this hollow. I'm trying to get my stuff together before Delaney come out. Hey, I'm excited. I can't wait until my baby come out. Uh, plus, Reggie coming back this summer. It gon' be a happy summer. Happy but they summer. don't know what time we on it. Getting boys your boy, your daddy. Boy, daddy. Nigga, I gon' take me home, and all you'll have is this. Heart this. to heart, heart to heart instrumentals. Heart. You can play back to your kids. kids. My daddy your was daddy a gangster, and he turned, 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 turned into a pastor. He let Jesus. In his life and live happily, happily ever, 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 ever. Baby, yeah. when I'm gone, you'll understand the way I feel. Even through a song, I let the whole world hear my tunes. Baby, when I'm gone, you'll play this song here on repeat. Come on now, give me heaven. Baby, when I'm gone, you'll you're tuning in with Brother Brian. Book hey, Got heaven in my mind. When someone tries to leave my life, man, I just let them If they don't wanna stay, believe me, I don't beg them Hey, what I look like trying to kiss them but to keep someone I always lift you up and do my best to teach you some So many left me with a wounded heart, I lost my view God split this red sea in my life so I could walk on through You mad at God cause things ain't go the way you wanted to Time to repent today, like God, I need to talk to you. Pray yeah. for your purity, and pray for self control. Don't be like everybody in this world, in this sell world soul, to sell their soul. Show some maturity, and please keep Jesus close. Submit to the Holy Ghost, bro, when neither does approach. Yeah. Back yeah. then, it was swish and sweets, optimals filled with weed. Come on. days the scripture and gospel is what, I need. what I need Back then it Back was then Henny, it was some Remy Men and some Gin hey, And I was living and I was water living inside me, I'm done with sin Baby, yo. when I'm gone, you understand Give them heaven podcast with Brother Brian, you tuning in, everybody Even through a song, I, I just want to let you know that God loves you so, so, so much Baby, when I'm gone, you'll play the song here on repeat Give them heaven Baby, podcast, gone, get your Bible out up your Do what we say, look. Hey, got heaven in my heart, got heaven on my side, got heaven in my heart, got heaven on my side, my side. Yeah. Uh, kingdom music, Jesus music, freedom music. <laughs> this give them heaven podcast, man. Everybody, you tuning in? We got new sound, new little bit of new stuff. Um, it's on the new album, everybody. But even if it wasn't on the new album, let's do something from the old. This going out to all the inmates, all the trappers, all the gangsters, everybody out there in the streets, man. Who told you that God couldn't forgive you? Who told you that Jesus doesn't love you, man? I want you guys to get your Bible out, man. We're just giving you some time. It's 251 of us all together on here. I see right now. We love you, Lord. We thank you, King Jesus. Amen. Come on now. Who told you gangsters go to heaven? Huh? Who told you money make you real? Hey, who told you pistols make you tough? You don't see all the dead bodies on the field? Man, who told you mercies for the weak? Huh? Who said forgiveness is for chunks? They say coward dies a thousand, death a soldier die but once They mourn you for a week and they forget you in a month Who told you God doesn't exist? Who told you God was just a myth? Who planted seeds of disbelief? Hey, inside your mind so you could drift Man, who told you Jesus doesn't love you? Huh? Who said you couldn't be forgiven? Hey, do you not know how much he loves you? Do you not know the king is risen? Who told you Christian rap was whack? Whoever said that man was whack? The truth that hit you hard and knock you flat down on your back. Who said Christian rap was whack? Whoever said that man was whack? The truth that hit you hard and knock you flat down on your back. A hey, two things gonna happen. A hey, one you gon' get mad and hate me for correcting you for pointing I was bad. Or two you get convicted and cry out because you sad and ask God to forgive you for the trespasses you had. You either run to Him or run from Him. I just pray you come to Him. You put down your blunts and guns and you say, Lord, I'm done with this. Run to Him or run from Him. I just pray you come to Him. You put down your blunts and guns and you say, Lord. I'm done with this Everything they told me was a lie 
and I know that now It's only right I hit the streets and I expose that now The dirty devil, dirty devil should've killed me Hey, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit come and feel me Fill me with new strength again, I'm feeling new inside Lord, I abide in you and follow you where you abide Fill me with new strength again, I'm feeling new inside Cause I abide in you and follow you where you abide Hey, I confide in you with confidence, my Lord Cause greater is he who lives in me than he who's of this world I confide in you with confidence, my Lord. Greater you see who lives in me than he who's other. Who told you God couldn't be trusted? Huh? I'm trying to tell you you could trust him. If he loves you deeply, please believe me. He hates to see his children suffer. I don't know what all they told you. I don't even know who told him. I don't know that he's the answer. He gets hope, man, to the hopeless. I don't know what all they told you. I don't even know who told him. I don't know that Christ is the answer. He gets hope, man, to the hopeless. Yo, who told you? Give him heaven right now, Brother Brian, man. Get your Bible out. I love you. God loves you. And I just want to speak to you, man. I want to encourage you, edify the body, build the body. Reach out to those who maybe just tuning in saying, hey, man, I, I've been hearing about this podcast. Give them heaven. It's all through the penitentiaries, man. All going through the tablets of the inmates. These things, are, these things are, that God has taken place for this ministry. Man, so we're recording live now, and we're going to start having our own podcast channel. Not only that, man, we're going to get these things on the tablets. They're going to be for free. They already got some of the podcasts already on there that we've been on. But this is straight for the edification and the building of the body. I'm going to do start doing two episodes weekly, one for Don't Forget the Forgotten and one for Give Them Heaven. And, I, and if Chi-Chi, my daughter, she, if she gets committed to what I was telling her, I want to do childlike faith with her, man. But uh, I love you guys. Jesus love you guys. I pray that you guys are having an awesome day day today right that you had a good day but even if you didn't have a good day i know that god can make can, can end the day you can end the day right you can end the day with with prayer you can end the day with with encouragement instead of saying man tomorrow's gonna be the same way no 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 bad days happen sometimes and just because they happen sometimes does not mean that you should give up in having hope it doesn't mean that it's okay for you to walk away from god it doesn't mean that you should stop praying it doesn't mean that you should have an attitude of things won't get right because bad days produce something beautiful in you it produces character these are moments where you get to show what you believe in these are moments we get to show why we trust god not just when it's sunny but when it's rainy not just when there there's increase in food in the in the fridge and everybody's happy but we show even when we lack that we trust them and we're not turned when I turn away from him. So, Father God, I just thank you, Lord, as, as we enter into, into your presence with joy and thanksgiving. I just pray for every family here represented, every family that's listening right now. Let the blood of Christ cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Every desire that's not of you. Every thought that's not of you. Every attitude, every action, every agenda, every heartbeat that's not of you. Father God, forgive us. We know that the perfect blood of your your son king jesus is enough i'm praying for those who don't know how to cover themselves lord right now those who've been walking around with shame those who've been walking around heavy hearted lord heavy spirit god those who are so close to giving up god right now just put your arms around them show them that you love them father god show them that you're not done with them lord those who keep making the same mistake over and over father god show them lord that there's there's power in your blood that you died to set us free from sin. The sin should not have dominion over our lives, Lord. And the power of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord. Silence every voice of doubt, every voice of discord, every voice that tries to come against your perfect will in our life, every voice that brings discouragement. Silence those voices right now. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father God for an increase of who you are at this moment that your Holy Spirit will rise up inside of us that your Holy Spirit will rise up inside of us with confidence, with hope, with living water with a river, Father God, that flows a river, Lord, of who you are a river of, of your abundant life a river, Father God, of joy a river, Father God, of praise a river of a grateful heart a river of confidence in you a river of an identity a river of restoration of the, uh, of the identity that you've given us and the purpose that you have for us let this river flow out of us, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every broken heart, let it be healed tonight. Let it begin this healing process, God. Every offended person, every hurt person, every angry person, God, begin to heal these, these places where these, 
my brothers and sisters or the maybe strangers that I never met before out there are listening and their hearts just need to be healed. Fill them up, Lord. Be everything that that blunt can't be right now to them. Show them, Lord. They don't need a drug. They don't need to roll up. They don't need to pop a bottle. They don't need to even load a gun with a bullet. They don't need to pop a pill. They don't need to run to anybody's bedroom. It's got to run to you, Lord. Trust in you, Lord. You are a fortress. You are a place of refuge, a shelter, a protection to those who run to you. Your name is great. And we call upon you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, right now, hear, hear the cries of your children right now, Jesus. Whoever should call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Save us, Jesus. Let that be your prayer right now. Say that whether you can whisper it or, or you can say it out loud. Just say, save me, Jesus. Save me from myself. Thank you for saving me, Jesus. Thank you for saving me from sin. Thank you for letting the power of sin lose its grip off me because of your death and your perfect sacrifice right now. It's your name that I call upon, your name that I put my faith in, your, your sacrifice on the cross that I put my faith in, not in my righteousness. It's all in yours. Set them free, Lord, right now. Heal that broken heart right now, Father God. Soften that angry heart, Lord. That one who had, you can see it in your eyes, you angry. Everywhere you go, you can't, even if you smile, you can see the hurt in your eyes, the anger in your eyes. Right now, I'm talking to you. God, soften that heart right now in the name of Jesus. There's somebody out there, you listening, man. You have hatred towards your parents. I don't know what they did to you, but you've been holding this grudge toward your parents. Forgive them right now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, honor thy mother and thy father and the days on earth shall go well. Honor your mother and father, whether they deserve it or not. Just honor them. Say, God, I forgive them. Bless my mom. Bless my dad. Whether you know your mom or whether you don't, whether you know your dad or you don't, even if they did something to, to offend you, just forgive them. Even if you haven't seen them, forgive them. Even if they hurt you, forgive them. This is for you. Honor thy mother and thy father. God said, just forgive. I know, I know they don't, some of them don't deserve your forgiveness. They've made mistakes. And instead of holding that against them right now, even though it caused you pain and suffering, for you to be healed, you got to forgive. I don't know who you are. So it's a woman of God. The impressions on my heart. It's a woman of God. You're out there and you've been holding this grudge, this anger, this resentment, this hatred towards your loved ones, towards your parents. Whatever the situation was, I'm sorry for the hurt that you went through. I'm sorry for the pain that you felt inside. It wasn't fair. I know you were younger. It wasn't fair. But forgive right now so you could be healed. And your family and your friends around you and your kids around you and your husband around you can get the great version of you that they deserve. They don't deserve that version that you're giving them. They deserve you to show them the kingdom version. And I pray right now over you that you'll be healed. I pray right now that you begin to forgive your parents. Whoever you are, it's the impression on my heart. It's a woman of God. Kingdom identity. Honor your God. This is the fragrance of heaven. You want, you want the greatest perfume woman of God that you can have on earth? It's the fragrance of forgiveness. It's what heaven smells like, forgiveness. Same with you, man of God, whoever you are. You want the greatest cologne? You want to smell good? You want to, you want to smell what heaven smells like? It's mercy and forgiveness. It's better than your cool water cologne. It's better than any, any type of cologne you could buy on earth. Fill our rooms, fill our houses with this fragrance of forgiveness. Let it smell like heaven. Heaven on earth. The same way it's up there, bring it to earth right now. Bring it inside my heart right now. I forgive, Lord. Forgive them, God. I'm sorry, Lord, for being mad this long. Tell them, I'm sorry for being mad this long. I'm, I'm sorry for holding grudges this long. I've been blocking my own blessings. I've been blocking my own joy. I've been blocking my own hallelujahs from the heart, my own gratitude in the heart because I'm so focused on what they people did to me and what they did to me here and there that I'm, I'm not even focusing on who you are to me when I need you the most and you've been everything even if I didn't want to go through it, when I look back, it was you that got me through it. Yes, I cried for the night. Yes, there were nights where I was still in pain. Yes, there are days when I feel wounded. But every time that I look up to you, there's hope. Every time that I run to you, God, there's hope. And never take that away from me, Lord. Never take that umbrella, that shelter, that place of refuge away from me right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you, woman of God. Begin, yep, be healed right now. Every unclean spirit, every spirit of unforgiveness underneath the sound of my voice. Every bitter, resentful feeling and desire and emotion. 
Loose your hold and leave right now in the name of Jesus. You have no place over that woman. You have no place over that man of God. You have no place over these families. We belong to Jesus. We belong to Jesus. Our families belong to Jesus. Our future belongs to Jesus. Our hearts belong to Jesus. Our identity is in him. It's not in ministry. It's not in marriage. It's not in my money. It's not in my muscle. It's not in my wisdom. My identity is in you, Jesus. It's who you are. And that's my righteousness. And I clothe myself in you. I imitate you. I follow you, Jesus. Blessed are those who are merciful. I'm going to be merciful. Blessed are the pure in heart. I want to be pure. I imitate you. I love you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, King Jesus. I'm praying for those right now who are tuning in that are struggling with addiction. Those who keep on going back to the same thing, whether it's pornography, masturbation, yeah, alcohol, greed, meth, crack, whatever it is that you keep going back to that's not helping you, that makes you feel dirty when you do it, makes you feel ashamed. I want you to believe this with your heart, not just with your mind. Believe this with your heart. Let no sin have dominion over my life. Let no addiction have dominion over my life. No desire that is strong have dominion over my life. I am a new creation. Say this. I am redeemed by the blood. I am set free from the powers of sin by the blood and, and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus died and defeated sin. So I'm more than an overcomer. Jesus died and defeated death. So death, where is your sting? There is no fear. Perfect love casts out all fear. Jesus died and defeated Satan. Devil, you lost. And because I walk in the finished work of him, my king, all your discouragement, all your lies and accusations, I don't believe them. I know where my faith is and I know who I put my faith in. He's the king of all kings, the Lord of all lords, and he is coming back for a bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. He sits on the right hand of the Father. I put my faith in Jesus. I don't put my faith or my wor in worries or fear. I put my faith in his promises, in his presence, and the power of the Holy One of Israel. The Son of Man. The Lamb of God. I love you, Jesus. I know who you are. And I know what you did. You, you finished your work. You were obedient even to the point of death. And you did the Father's will. And you said, I have to ascend. And when I go, I'm going to send a friend. I'm going to send a comforter. And I thank you for the person of the Holy Spirit that comes and dwells inside of every born-again believer. I am a born-again believer because I believe in the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And because he lives inside of me, he will convict me. He will refresh me, direct me. He will lead my every step. He will teach me the word of God. He will give me secrets and revelations of heaven that no man could give me on earth. Because I trust and I know who the person of the Holy Spirit is in my life. I love you. And he comes to do one thing only. To lift up the name of Jesus. To glorify the name of Jesus. All throughout this planet. All throughout the universe. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you for grieving inside when I do wrong. Thank you for convicting me. And letting me know this ain't right. Thank you for, for reminding me the promises and the word of God. Thank you for bringing these words into remembrance. Thank you for teaching me this book. That I could never read because I got sleepy. Every time I picked up this book. It's like I wanted to close it because I didn't understand it. Thank you for making this book become my breakfast. Thank you for making this book become my water. Thank you for making this book become my protection. My sword. Thank you for making this book be everything that I need. Thank you for the promise in here thank you lord for, for giving me something to hold on to when i need you the most in every trial every every time i'm in a test every affliction every valley that i go through every mountaintop that i go through i thank you for what's in here because it leads me this is the light in a dark world this is the light when i'm walking on the path this keeps me on a narrow road thank you for this word holy spirit i thank you in the name of jesus
We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you. We love you. I'm praying right now for the husband and wife. Who are struggling to keep their marriage together. I've been there. Ask my wife. We've been there. Every day is not perfect. Sometimes we want to give up on ministry and give up on each other. But because Jesus is the center of, of the string of my family, we continue to fight. We continue to forgive. Don't give up on your marriage. Keep fighting. Ask God to give you strength. Maybe you're not in love like you used to be. Maybe you don't trust like you used to trust. Ask God to give you a new eyes, a new way to love, a new way to, to understand, a new respect for each other. What he puts together, let no man separate. I pray right now. Maybe you're separated from your loved one. Maybe you're miserably married because you married somebody that God never put in your life. And you forced them. And you're choosing between who to please. Can I please God or I please my husband or my wife? And you're, you're torn. But this is my prayer for you in the name of Jesus. I never preach divorce because I know restoration happens. I've seen it. But if that marriage is not of God. And God is separating you for a reason this season. And you have this tormenting feeling where you're like, I'm hurt, man. It torments me. She's with somebody or she might get somebody. Uh-uh. That ain't that. That ain't not that. That is not the Holy Spirit. That tormenting spirit that, that you can't sleep. It hurts so bad. That is a spirit from the enemy. And he comes to torment you. But listen to this. Say this prayer. Say, Father God, if this marriage is of you, strengthen my heart. Strengthen my covenant. Groom me to love this woman. Groom me to love this man the way they deserve, Father God. Groom me right now. You work on them while you're working on me, Father God. And put us back together stronger than ever on your time and your will but if this marriage is not of you father god and this is something that i i got yoked with an unbeliever lord if, if this is the reason this is of you you're separating it for a reason because you see something i don't then lord give me eyes to only look at them as a brother and a sister in christ in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every unclean soul tie every tormenting spirit that's trying to bother me right now remove it from my life remove them from my thoughts remove them out of my way of listening so i could just hear your voice speak the loudest lord let me be healed. Let me be focused on what you want for me this season. In the name of Jesus right now, you know who you are. In the name of Jesus right now, I pray to say prayer over you. That your emotions will be safe. That your spiritual condition can get better. Some of you need to quit forcing people to be in your life. And God has never intended them to be where you want them to be that's why it's like oil out of your hand it says it's like oil trying to force something like this it slips out of your hand every time can't make them love me can't make them love it can't make make her be faithful can't make them be can't make those friends be real friends to me you're forcing people to be there i get it you want them so bad but you cannot make somebody do what they're supposed to do it's free will if she wants to stay and keep her post, then she'll do it. If she don't want to, then bless you, woman of God. Whatever God has for you, I'm not running to another woman. I'm not running to another man. Tell him. That's what you tell him. I'm running to the arms of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And if you're truly supposed to be in my covenant, if you truly understand with my imperfections, just like your imperfections, if you can look at me with my flaws and still love me and know that my desires to be more like him, then we'll walk it out together. But if this is not of God and it's something that we put together, then Lord, cut the soul tie that we don't hurt each other no more and destroy one another that we don't hurt these kids no more and affect the, our families no more give me eyes to look at her as your daughter in Christ as my sister in Christ but if she is my wife tell them if that is my husband tell them and give me eyes to look at them as the way you look at me the apple of my eye as well and to, to learn how to respect how to trust Bless the covenants. Bless the singles. I'm praying right now for those who've been backsliding. You know who you are. You don't get caught, but God sees you. Yeah, you go to church, but you don't get caught thinking what you're thinking, but God, God sees it. You don't get caught saying what you're really saying underneath your breath, but God hears it. You remember when you used to fight for your thoughts? You remember your joy? And the more and more you continue to play with polluted streams of water, continue to get in the mud of sin and indulge in pleasures of the world, you, you begin to quit fighting for your thoughts. You, you begin to quit fighting for your purity. You begin to quit fighting for your faith. 
but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now, as far away as you feel from God, as dirty as you feel right now underneath all that, your cleanness, but inside you're dirty like a dirty cup. God is saying, come home, my son. Come home, my daughter. I want to cleanse you. I want to clean you. I want to refresh in you. You have a place with me. I'm not done with you. The enemy is trying to keep you away from us, uh, separate us. Come, come with your broken heart. Come with your a, a spirit, a, a honest and sincere spirit to say, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry for sinning against you. I want my joy back. I want them pure thoughts back. I want my confidence back in prayer. My comfort, my, my desire to want to read, my desire to be around the, the kingdom community, the kingdom family that you that you have for me, God. I don't want to be mad at the churches. I don't want to be mad at everybody I see happy, Lord. I don't fit in with this angry world. I don't fit in with the darkness of the world. I don't fit in with them. I gotta get drunk just to be around these people. I gotta get high and forget what I really care about just to just to uh tolerate what, what's in front of me. God, I don't want this. I want to forgive. I want to love. I want to be happy. I want to praise you through good and bad times. Forgive me for walking away and trying to see what the world had for me. It doesn't have nothing. It has nothing for me. This world has nothing for you, woman of God. This world has nothing for you, man of God. The streets have nothing for you, man of God. That gang, that affiliation to that organization has nothing for you, man of God. But a court case, but a prison sentence in a casket. There's a consequence for living that evil life. Woman of God, those desires have nothing for you. Giving yourself to every man, anybody opening your bedroom to anybody who says you're pretty, anybody you think is handsome, has nothing for you but another broken heart, another child out of wedlock, another child saying, where's my, you're going to continue to build these bed with other people and you're going to have to lay in it. Give your heart to the one who deserves it. Have self-control before you let him in that bedroom. Say, you got to go to my father first and ask him for my heart. I got to know that you love him more than you love me. You got to tell her, I know that I got to see that you love God more than you love me, woman of God. Because if you do, you'll never do me wrong. But if you don't love God and you don't care about him, you don't care about his laws, you don't care about his ways or his reflection or his character and you can never love me the way I want to be loved because you'll never understand who I want to be in Christ you'll never understand when I want to forgive my enemy you'll never understand when I want to give my last to the homeless you never understand why I want to put others before me you'll make fun of me you'll ridicule me because you don't fall you don't love the one or fell in love with the one that I've given my heart and desire to pursue yet I let you in my bed let I let you in my presence and just because you're pretty now I'm willing to tolerate your compromise no 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 get out in the name of Jesus get out you got nothing for me you can't do me like God could do me kingdom family kingdom relationships kingdom favor Jesus I'm praying right now for the church leader for the for the pastor Your labor is not in vain, woman of God, man of God. This is, for the, this is for the leaders in ministry, the teachers in ministry, the pastors in ministry, the shepherds in ministry. Your labor is not in vain. It's not about having a packed out church. Trust me. It's not about you filling up the seats of an auditorium or a mega church. Trust me. It's about you filling the hearts of every single one that God sends your way. What do you need a packed out mega church for if you can't even fill a one heart with truth? Who cares about an offering basket? Offer your life as a poor, uh, like a poured out offering to him. As you lead, as you love, as you with detail and concern, and you disciple one by one by one by one that you can. It's hard for you to do all of them. That's why you need to duplicate the heartbeat of heaven amongst the ones around you. So then when you pack out that church, then when you have something big, everybody's able to help disciple everybody's able to help love but when you don't have that and you got all these people and you can only do 30 40 maybe 50 at the most at your own strength everybody else get lost in the sauce fill up the hearts 
Go to the highways and byways. Go to the trenches. Have an outreach team. Go adopt a block. Go fill up the hearts. Go fish. Don't get caught up in the numbers. Trust me. Get caught up in the heartbeat of heaven. Don't get caught up what looks good and portray righteousness before everybody else and you miss it. Be led by the Holy Spirit, man of God. Don't give up. Your labor's not in vain, leader. Remember when you first started off? You remember? You was in that living room? Maybe eight people, nine people? You got on your knees and you say, God, I'll be faithful to whatever you give me. And boom, ministry took off. Because your heartbeat was right. You were duplicating. You were love. You were, you were focusing on real discipleship. And maybe somewhere down the big, big buildings and the big offerings and the you begin to lose focus of the heartbeat. I get it. It looks good when you got the fog machine and you got smoke in the air. But what's good if you have the fog machine and there's not a cloud of glory there? I would rather you have the cloud than for you to have a big crowd. I would rather you have a cloud of no compromise, a cloud of conviction, a cloud of love and compassion for those who are outside that church building that you continue to go out there and feed the less fortunate. You continue to help the orphans and the widows. You continue to have a heartbeat that reflects the Father. Then for you to have a little pamphlet and pass out, people sign cards and put money in the envelope and they don't even know your name. Nobody even knows discipleship. All they know is the message of the day. It helps them get through the day. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, they don't know who to call. They don't have nobody they got to tune in every other place i need you to tap into what god has put in front of you be faithful because you're going to stand before god preach a man you're going to stand before god and you're going to be held accountable for everything that you taught did you stand for truth did you continue to speak truth even when it hurt? When you had to tell people what they didn't want to hear about unnatural affections. You had to speak for truth. When they tell people what they didn't want to hear, when you said stay sober, ready and alert. No, we're not going to do that. No, we don't. We, we raise a standard of holiness. We pursue the purity of Jesus by faith. Who cares if everybody leaves? If God don't leave you and that cloud don't leave you, who cares if the crowd leaves? At least at the end of the day, remember when you was in the living room, you said, God, I'll be faithful to what you've given me. At least at the end of the day, when you close your eyes, you'll be like, God, I'll continue to be faithful to what you've given me. It's your increase. If everybody loves you and everybody praises you and you don't have a tax, you're doing something wrong. Because this word of God right here is a double edge and it cuts. It cuts and it heals. It breaks and it builds. This right here will cause division. This right here will make demons uncomfortable. This right here will show you who wants Jesus and who just wants to be blessed. I just want a blessing. I don't really want to live. I don't really want to deny myself. I just, I just come to get a blessing. Bless my family, God. Don't work like that. You said all things work out for the good. Yeah, only all things work out for the good for only those who love him. And the Bible says, if you love me, you will obey my commands. Whoever desires to be one of my disciples must first deny themselves, pick up the cross and follow. I'm praying for you, preacher man. I'm praying for you, Mr. Leader, that you get right back, that you go back to your first passionate love for God. You don't have to yell and, 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 and go against sin the wrong way. You just got to make a division. You got to make a stand and say, this ain't this, this ain't that. That's it. You don't have to beat up it, 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 other churches. And other it, Don't nobody have it right. I'm not trying to condemn nobody. I'm just encouraging that one leader. You know who you are. Go back to that love. Go back to that heartbeat. You had the heartbeat of heaven. Sometimes it skips, right? I've had, sometimes I got to check my heartbeat. Like, man, is that the heart? Ask God to give you that heartbeat back. Give me that love. Give me that desire, God. I don't need to sit with great people. Stand with great people. I want to sit with the broken. I want to sit with those who... Nobody notices. I want to sit with those who people act like are invisible. Give me your heart for your children. Give me your heart for the lost. Give me your heart for those who are unwanted. Give me your heart for those who feel so far away from you that I may show them who you are by the way I love, by the way I submit, by the words that I preach, by my convictions and my beliefs, by the life that I live before them.
to be an example in the name of Jesus that heaven will come down to earth. Bless you, man of God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your love for God. I salute you. I salute you, woman of God. All you teachers out there. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to share some word. Father God, I love you. How many of y'all, how, how many of y'all, the Holy Spirit speaking to all of us right now, huh? Come on. A godly life. Titus chapter 12, 1 through 8. Listen, you cannot be a disciple if you don't have discipline. Please write that down. I hope you brought your, your Bible. I hope you got your pen and your pad. I hope you're taking mental notes. Put them on your heart. You cannot be a disciple without discipline. You can't be a disciple without self-control. And you can't be a disciple without dignity. You are to set yourself apart to live a life that demonstrates integrity in all that you teach. This would simply this this would imply a serious study of God's word and his personal application in our lives and not teaching from one's opinion, which only leads to arguments and divisions. This kind of integrity gives somebody the right to be heard with sound speech and a clear and wholesome message. When you're living a life that is pure, when you're living a life of self-control and dignity, you have the right to speak about it. And guess what? People know that the volume's turned up because you're really doing it. I would never want to listen to music about someone who's saying Jesus, 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 Jesus but behind closed doors, devil, 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 right? I would never want to listen to a message where people say Jesus, 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 Jesus and behind closed door, it's wicked, 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 heartbeats and all that. I don't want to hear it. You don't have the right to speak about the purity of Christ when you're not pure. You don't have the right to speak about honesty and devotion and commitment and fighting the good fight of faith when you're not even fighting daily. You don't have the right to speak about that. When you speak, your volume's low because your lifestyle goes against what you're, what you're saying. It doesn't matter. Even in the street, I didn't like fake thugs. I did not like fake fake gangsters, fake thugs. If I was out there doing wild with you, I wanted to be around real people, man. Same here. I want Christians not a, that are perfect, but have real love for Christ. Amen. You are to be an example is what I'm saying. God sees not as man sees for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart for Samuel 16, 7. Watch over your heart with all diligence for from it flows the springs of life. Guard your heart. Proverbs 4, 23. If we keep our heart right, we need not greatly concern ourselves about our outer life. Amen. That will take care of itself or rather it will be controlled from within. The trouble with too many people is that they think only of the outside trying to res trying to make a good appearance and neglect the culture of the inner life the result is that the heart unwatched goes wrong and then the whole life loses its beauty amen the ideal christian life the ideal life for a believer is one which is beautiful within and without how blessed and favored by god are those who weigh is blameless those with personal integrity the upright uh, who walk in the law and who are guided by the precepts and revealed will of the Lord blessed and favored by God are those who keep his testimonies and who consistently seek him and long for him with all their heart it says in Psalms they do no unrighteousness they walk in his ways you have ordained your precepts that we should follow them with careful diligence oh that my ways may be established to observe and keep your statutes obediently accepting and honoring them then I will not be ashamed when I look with respect to all your commandments as my as my guide i will give thanks to you with the upright heart when i learn through discipline your righteous judgments for my transgressions i shall keep your statutes do not utterly abandon me nor forsake me with when i fail how can a young man keep his way pure here it goes by keeping watch on himself according to your word confirming his life to your precepts with all my heart i have sought you inquiring of you and longing to you do not let me wander from your commandments neither through ignorance nor by willful disobedience your word i have treasured and stored in my heart that i might not sin against you blessed and reverently praised are you O oh lord teach me your statues show me your heartbeat show me who you are so i can demonstrate it in my neighborhood in the prisons at walmart where i live where i walk where i fly where i drive show me your heartbeat so i can honor you in all that i do in the name of jesus this is your this should be your prayer today I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies and as much as in all riches, I will meditate on your precepts and, 
And though you regard your ways, the path of life established by your precepts, I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. That's in the book of Psalms 119, y'all. Psalm 119 is beautiful. What is the way to have a pure life? Keep it according to God's word. I must seek him with all of my heart. Only he can keep from dis only he can keep you from disobedience. Treasuring his word in my heart keeps me from sinning against him. He is blessed. And I need him to teach me his word. His words are all on my lips. I rejoice in his words more than any riches, luxury, comfort, fame, or power that this world possess. Thank you, Holy Spirit. His word is on my mind day and night, and I make it my aim to follow it. I would take great joy and comfort in his word and never forget it. Yes, I get excited when I think about how beautiful and powerful his words are for us. Do you know, is what I'm saying. Do you know how powerful it is? His word has the power to cleanse us from sin and help us walk obedient obediently right amen pure keep treasure lips meditate right so my lips i treasure it on my heart i meditate it keeps me right amen the way for me to stay pure is to obey god's word remember i should seek him with all my heart i should not wonder from wonder from him or disobey his commandments i must treasure god's word in my heart treasuring it this will keep me from sinning against him god is blessed and i should want to learn as much as i can from him come on holy spirit the words on his lips should also be on my lips amen oh i should rejoice in his word as much as any riches in this world provides i should rejoice in his word as any much as riches in this world should provide you should want it more than you want your bank of america money you should want it more than you want your cash app money you should want it more than you want your your, your sound exchange money like you shall want it and rejoice in the treasures in his promises the treasure that he's given you amen meditation on his word leads to obedience this is why you delight and concentrate on his word it would lead you to obey delight in his word leads to remembrance when you keep thinking about it and you oh man i love it so much you begin to remember it let me tell you something it doesn't say in the book of psalms when we read that there's no way that I can stay pure on earth. God doesn't say that. You can't stay pure by the word. What else does it, does it not say? I can follow my own way and still live a pure life. That's not true. You can't. You'll, be, you'll always drift. If the words are not in your heart and you don't meditate it, you won't live a pure life. You'll live a polluted life, a, a life of chaos and confusion. What else, what else does, doesn't it say in there? If I'm following him in this half-hearted fashion, I can still obey him consistently. No, you can't. You'll be double-minded, unstable in all your ways. You cannot serve two masters. You hate one and love the other. You can't serve them both. Get that through your head, all right? God's word is a private affair. I should learn from it, but mainly keep it to myself. No, no, no. You share it with everyone around you. You share it with your loved ones. You share it with your family. You share it with your neighbors. You share it with your enemies. You share it with your coworkers. You share it with strangers. You share it with people you, you come in contact with daily. You should never keep it to yourself. God has blessed you with peace. He's blessed you with power. He blessed you with this promise. And you should always display it and give it to those who need it. In the name of Jesus. What else does it, does it not say in this? Wealth is necessary for my happiness. I cannot rejoice in God's word unless I have it. Yeah, right. Real wealth is found in doing his will. Real wealth is found in God's wisdom. Real wealth is found in the fear of the Lord. That's your wealth. That's your currency. It's winning souls for Jesus. What else doesn't it, doesn't it say in here? Reading God's word or even studying it is enough. I don't have to think about it too much. No, no, you better thinking about it. You better keep it on your mind. Keep it on your lips. Want to know why? Because when you don't, you're going to easily keep something else on your heart or your mind. That If you start singing what the world is singing, you start rapping those old rap songs, you start watching those old movies, you start saying those old quotes, you'll always have something on your lips that's not of God. You'll say the opposite of what the word says. You'll say confusion and God has truth. You'll say deception and God is truth. You'll speak, you'll speak wickedness, but God is good. Goodness. God is righteousness. God is pure. You better keep it so you'll know the taste. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is not the taste of the Lord. This water's polluted. These words are polluted. These words are wicked. This is not pure word. This is not edif edification word. This is not equipping and building the body of my family. These words are, are bitter. These words were destroyed. These words are toxic. This is poison. I would never speak this. You're not going to know the difference if you don't drink from the fountain of the living water. You're not going to know the difference if you don't spend time with God. That's the truth. One more. What, what else doesn't it say in there? It's enough to read God's word out of duty. I don't have to enjoy it. No, you better enjoy it. When you know that it heals you, when you know that it cleanses you, 
I never met someone who was dirty and looks at the soap and be like, man, I hate this soap. Man, they wash. Oh, man, this stuff is clean. Thank you for this. I never seen someone who had a glass of, of, of cold water and they're thirsty and they're like, yeah, I don't want to drink this water. They're like, man, this is refreshing to my soul. I enjoy this. Every sip. Every swallow of this water, man, this is good. That's how you should be about the word when you're, when you're bathing in it. The word of God will wash you. It washes your mind from the way you used to think. The word of God will, will fill you up. It will satisfy your soul. It's living water. Why wouldn't you want it? What does obedience mean, y'all? I ain't going to keep you too, too much longer, man. What does obedience mean? There's 511 of us, of us out here all together. We got 511. Obedient. Obedience means it's simply terms and meaning hearing the word of God and acting on it. It implies aligning our will to God's will, aligning our will to what God wants for our life. Amen. Doing what God has asked us to do. Obedience. It's when we completely surrender to his authority and base our decisions and actions on his word. Amen. What is the most importance of obedience? Obedience is so important for every believer. In fact, without it, we fall short big time. Amen. You can fall short. Uh, obedience, the importance of obedience, it's an act of worship as it demonstrates our love for God and sets us apart. Obedience is the hallmark of our salvation. Although we are saved by grace through the redemptive work on the cross and by the blood of Jesus, it is our obedience that sets us apart as authentic children of God. Obedience is our way of showing God that we love him. Amen. And it is through our obedience that God recognizes us and enables us to enjoy his love. This, our primary motive for obedience must be to show God that we love him. This in turn will allow God to reveal himself to us and activates God's power to work in our lives. Obedience is a reflection of your faith. Obedience will release favor. Obedience will release blessings over your life, blessings over your household. John 14, 23 to 24 says, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. Amen. The Godhead, Holy Spirit, all of us inside, inside of us. Amen. Can others around you testify that indeed you are a child of God because your actions. Oh, no, watch this. If we call ourselves that we are children of God and claim to love God, do we demonstrate that love by obeying his commands? Yeah. God can truly count you as one of his children. Can he? Um, do we align our daily action with God's word and act as, as an act of worship? Do you? Can others around you testify that indeed you are a child of God because your actions are in line with God's word? How do you treat your family members? How do you behave at work? How do you relate to your friends? How do you talk about other people? Remember, just because you come to church singing in the choir, that's all good and doing all the religious thing is good, but it is an obedient heart that God loves. Amen. It shows that it shows God that we what? Trust him. It's a demonstration of our faith. Obedience can mean following God's lead even when we are not sure of the outcome. And that's hard to do for some people. Obedience could be tough. Many times it means taking a higher road even when there is an easy way out as an option. Obedience may require sacrifice, discipline, and stretching ourselves outside our comfort zone. Oh, for real. Our choice to obey, therefore, demonstrates our trust in God. It shows that even though it's hard, even though it doesn't make sense, we will still do it. Hebrews chapter 8 gives us an account of God's men from the Old Testament who are recognized as heroes of faith as a result of their acts of obedience. You have Noah who built the ark. No one thought it was going to rain. He built. He, was, he obeyed. You have by faith, you have Abraham who obeyed when he was called to go out to a place and was to receive an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. You have uh, Abraham again by obedience when he was tested, offered up Isaac and who had received the promises was in the act of offering up his only son of whom it was said through Isaac shall your offspring be named. By faith, Joshua and the children of Israel obeyed and went around the walls of Jericho before they went crumbling on the seventh day. Check it out. Now, are there things in your life that God is asking you to do? And you're not and that are tough. Think about it. What are the things that God is asking you to do that are tough? And you just need to obey and listen. There's some things in my life, some things in your life, if you're, if you're honest with yourself. Well, does that make sense to you? Your obedience will show God that you trust him. You will be accounted as evidence of your faith. Amen. Obey God to give even 
obey God to give even when your budget is tight? Are you a giver or do you say, man, God, I can't give right now because we don't have too much. You're supposed to still give. You're obeying. You're being blessed. Obey God and forgive even when it hurts so bad. Obey God and work hard even when you have been passed for promotion. Obey God and love your unlovable spouse unconditionally. There is a reason why God has you in these situations. Reward for obedience. Obedience shows to God that we love him, we trust him, and which turn activates his power in our lives. But most importantly, there is a reward for obedience. Success. Everyone wants to be successful at what they do. To prove some of the... Whatever you're doing to prove to other people, man, like, man, this is success, right? But interestingly, God in his word gives us a a simple secret for success, which is reading his word and obeying it. You want to be successful in marriage? Read the word and obey. You want to be successful in ministry? Read the word and obey. You want to be successful a Christian rapper or a, a, a big pastor or whatever God has for you and the desires he put in your life? Read the word and obey. Be successful. God has a plan for each and every one of us, plans to proper us, prosper us, and a plan to give us a future. God's will for our lives is that we must be successful and successful in doing the will of God. Success, not as the world defines it, but as God defines it. That means accomplishing that which we were created for. God never created us to fail or just to be average. God created us to be excellent, and we should have evidence that he lives inside of us. But we need to align with God's will, remember, for God's plan to manifest into our lives. How do you obey? By having a relationship with God. Decide to honor God with your decisions and actions. By doing this, he tells us, our primary motive for obedience must be to please God because we love him. It's easy to do something when we do it out of love, even when it's uncomfortable. Amen? I agree. Do you agree? Have you ever noticed a man, how a man behaves when he falls, when he is in love with a woman, he will go out his way to do the things that, that are not ordinary. He'll, he'll, he'll go to show her that he cares about her. He'll go here. He, you know, you heard this thing, right? I climbed the highest mountain, swim the deepest sea. I, I, man, if some people, man, they, they'll go in the rain. Like, you stay here. I'll go whatever I got to do. Like, when you care about people, it's not about spending money. When you care about someone, you show them that you love them as you pursue them and the things that you do. And it's the same thing with God. When you show God that you love them when you pursue the purity of Jesus Christ by faith. Likewise, we must love God with all our heart, mind, and soul. And then obedience will be easy because our desire will be to honor God. When you fall in love with him, it's so easy to obey him. By reading the Bible every day is the primary basis for all our decisions and actions. It becomes easy as well because you have the things of God in mind. Amen. I'm going to pray right now a prayer. I ain't going to keep y'all too long. I know I, I, we, I usually do an hour. But give him heaven and. I just want to thank you, Father God. I, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you begin to search our hearts in the areas of our life where you're asking us to do some tough things, uncomfortable things. God, we want to obey you. We don't want to do it because you're forcing us. We want to do it because we love you. And forgive us when we don't have that love for you like we do everything else. God, I remember, Lord, I would catch cases for my big homeboys, for my partners, man. I would shoot guns. I was going wild, wild police chases. God, I, I did crazy things because I, 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 I loved them and I thought they loved me. And it was so easy to break the law. It was so easy to face death. It was so easy to take penitentiary chances. God, when it comes to you, Lord, I want to have that same desire. Like, if I got to get incarcerated for you for preaching the truth, then so be it. If I got to get betrayed by people or laughed at because I stand in your righteous ways and I keep forgiving and they say I'm weak for showing mercy and they want to keep treating me like that and so be it I want to be able to obey you God even when it doesn't feel right I want to be able to obey you God even when I I'm uncomfortable and I don't know sometimes I, I don't go all the way like I should sometimes I don't I don't step up to the plate like I should and I'm sorry Lord I'm sorry you you're so good to us. You've loved us. The Bible said, well, you so loved the world that you gave your only son. I give these moments, I give these uh, these honest moments to you and ask that you create a heart that will obey you even when it doesn't make sense, even when it hurts. I'm praying for my brothers and sisters who are listening that you'll do the same for them. I can't speak for everybody, God, but all I know is my desire is to follow you. My desire is to please you. I love you. I love you and I know who you are. I want to
want to honor you, Lord. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I just pray right now that you bless them in the full abundance. Bless them in the full abundance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a couple of prayer requests right now. If you need any prayer requests before I go, just put some right here. Type some in and I'm going to send some prayer. There's a family out there. Uh, you don't have groceries. I don't know who you are. You have a couple kids and you guys are short on groceries. I want to bless you. I want to bless you. Who are you? I'm listening to the Holy Spirit impress this on my heart. It's a woman. You got like two or three kids. Maybe it's, a, I don't know if you're single. I don't know if it's a husband and a woman, but I want to I wanna bless you with groceries in the name of Jesus. Who are you? Father God. The Vasquez family, brother. Okay. The Vasquez family. Fishing on hope. Fishing on hope. What's your what what's your what's your email? Which what's, what's your inbox number? I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you something. I'm gonna send you something. I wanna bless you. I just don't wanna say God bless you. I wanna bless you. If somebody wanna match me and you wanna help me with these groceries or for the Vasquez family, let's bless them in the name of Jesus. Somebody match me 150. I'm gonna I'm sending you 150. We can come up with 150. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to help you. Fishing on hope. Father God, bless them, Lord. Even if you store up their refrigerator, fill up their hearts, God. Fill their hearts with love, Lord. Let this be a blessing to them tonight, God. Let them feel that you care, Father God. I'm a family of five. Rex and babe. I sent something to you too. I, I just got to catch it, man. There's so many people here. Let me catch it. I can't do everybody. I'm, I'm gonna, I, I, there's only so much that I could do myself. But I want to I wanna bless this family. God, I, there's a family. It's a woman with three kids. In the name of Jesus. Yep. Send me your send me your send me your cash app. You know who you are. The Vasquez family. Send me your cash app. In the name of Jesus. Lord, fill them up right now, Father God. Fill them up right now. Let me tell you something. Pick, I'm gonna pick two, two to three families, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a blessing. Listen, if you, if you're scamming, or if you're taking advantage of God's people in their heart, you're gonna bring a curse over you. So you'd be surprised how some people would try to take advantage of this moment. And if you're not, and if you don't allow these other people to be blessed, and let's say you're like, what about me? What about me? Listen to this. If you try to cut in line to what God's trying to bless somebody, you're always gonna find yourself in the back. Tonight, God put it on my heart because there's somebody here. There's somebody here that, that really needs it. And I'm saying you don't need it. But there's somebody here that God wants to bless. And you should celebrate that. You should celebrate that because you'll never get your blessing until you be happy for someone else. I, I always try to, man, listen. I try to give this heartbeat to so many people and they don't catch it. You have to rejoice. I know, look, it's like saying, okay, my marriage is terrible and then you see another marriage and you're like how can i be happy for them or mine look whether yours is terrible or not celebrate their happiness because god is going to give you yours but some of you are blocking your blessing because you can't celebrate nobody else until you get you and that's not right that's not the heartbeat of heaven you'd be surprised how, how many times i put myself to the back and just watch other people get blessed 
I just watch other people get blessed because I, that's all I, and God always comes through for me and mine. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor their children begging for bread. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor their children begging for clothes. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Like God takes care of that heartbeat. It's the heartbeat. Catch that heartbeat, man. Catch it. Please catch it so you can get what God has for you. It might not even be coming from us. You'd be surprised how God will show you. You'd be surprised how God can knock on your door. You'd be surprised how God can meet you wherever you're at and bring the blessing to you. All because your heart was content with godliness and a good attitude. And it produced great gain in your life, great joy in your life, great peace in your life. I'm going to bless three families, man. Okay, look. I need, I need the, I need the Vasquez, the Vasquez family, a fish in the hope. I, there's so many people on here. I, I, I keep missing it. I need, I need their, uh, I need a contact number because I'm gonna send you something, a message. I'm gonna send you a message. I'm gonna get your info. And I'm gonna send something to you. The contact. Fish, fish in the hope. Give me an email. Give me a phone number, or give me something that I can contact you and send something to you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Bless our Father God. Strengthen our Father God. You are the provider, Lord. Oh, I like this. Hold up, Ryan. Ryan said, my ex-wife who did me wrong but has three kids and is struggling. I feel like we should bless her. Hold on, I, I, that's my type of assignment. Oh man, I missed it. There's so many I can't see. Once it once it goes up, they won't let me see it. See it again, Ryan. I'm feeling that assignment. Ryan, give me your number, soldier. Ryan, man, please send me your number. I want you to send me your number. Go to Kingdom Music Twenty Five at Gmail.com. This is for Ryan. Listen, just for, look, kingdommusic25 at gmail.com. Message me right now, Ryan. We're going to send her something. We're going to send her something. Who wants to match me? Who wants to match me uh, 150 for, for, he said my ex-wife. And even though we're not together, she has kids and she's struggling. Can we bless her? I felt God all over that. That's an assignment. Hey. Message me, Ryan. You got to message me right now. I'm looking for the email right now, Ryan. Kingdommusic25 at gmail.com. Ooh, I like kingdom assignments like this. And Fishing, fishing of Hope. Those, those are two. These are, those are two. I'm going to pick one more that God puts on my heart. Fishing of Hope for the Vasquez family. Message me. Kingdom Music, M U Z I C. 25 at gmail.com I need the info for that Yup Who wants to match me 150 for them Ugh Let's, let's bless the, Let's bless I love that You don't even gotta be with her You just wanna bless her and her kids That's a beautiful heart Soldier I'm looking I'm looking right now For your, for your email Hold up Somebody else I got one more I'm going to pick and send to my email. It's one more. Robert, I mean, Ryan, message me right now. Kingdom Music, M-U-Z-I-C 25, Kingdom Music at gmail.com. Bless him, Father God. Bless him, Lord. Bless him in the name of Jesus. I'm looking for you, soldier. Where you at? Fishing the Hope, Vasquez family. Message me right now. Where you at? I'm just sowing seeds into you. I don't see it. I, I got to see it, man. 
if you want to send if you want to if you want to bless Ryan if you want to bless the, that lady that has three kids or the Vasquez family let me know I'm going to send 150 to each of them if you want to bless we can add to it if not I'm still going to bless them let's, let's be the hands and the feet of Jesus tonight Ugh, give them heaven give them heaven man that's how we give them heaven I got you I got you Ricardo I see you soldier you just text me Ryan didn't text me yet but Ricardo what's up send me I'm... hold on here we go I'm sending you something give me your give me the info but the Vasquez family, give me the info. Hey, if you want to match me, I'm about to send 150 over there. You can you can send it to you can send it to uh you can send it to their cash app or you can send it to my cash app as soon as they give it to me. Jesus bless them, Father God. Yes, Lord. Father God, let their whole fridge be filled up. Oh, let them feel the, the love of God. Wrap wrap your arms around them. I see you do great things, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. This is how you use the platform, y'all, to be a blessing to those who need it. Ugh. Ryan, I'm looking for your for your email, Ryan. Kingdom Music25 at gmail.com. I didn't I didn't see it yet. It says Ricardo Vasquez. Is that it? No, that ain't it. Ryan, it didn't pop up yet. It's the Vasquez family did. It didn't come in, Ryan. Kingdom Music, M U Z I C 25 at gmail.com. Here it goes. Oh. Sister Samantha Blunk said, How can I bless him? This match. You want to match? This match. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for his for his email. Let's match. My cash app is uh Brian Trejo. B-R-Y-A-N-N-T-R-E-J-O. I'm gonna send it straight over there. I'm waiting on the cash app. Sister Samantha Blunt. How can I bless Ryan? She's gonna match. Whatever she puts on is gonna be a blessing. Cash app is uh if you want to send hands and feet, come on, Chocho, let's match one, baby. Hey, send to the cash app, let's match Chocho. I got another family. Uh, I got another family, the, the Vasquez family. I'm waiting on I'm waiting on their uh the their cash app. Let's match them, baby. Here it goes. Uh, cash app money RV053114. I got you. In the name of Jesus, I got you. I got you, soldier. I'm about to say mine right now to you. Bless you. I pray, Father, oil on this morning, God. I pray, Lord, that they feel the oil. They feel your love, God. Oh, fill their hearts with your love tonight. Man, can't take none of this with you when you go, soldier. Better learn, man. It's better to give than to receive. This is what you call loose hands, soldier. Oh, kingdom assignment. Copy. Love you, Lord. You're good. Now, Ryan, you go do the right thing with this money. Because if you don't, you're going to curse yourself, man of God. It says Ricky. Hold up. Touch your name with. Oh, and that's the Vasquez family. Okay. You go do the right thing in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, that was like a uh, uh, that was like a combination. <laughs> Your cash app had a combination code of numbers. Uh, sent one fifty in the name of Jesus. Why? Because we love you. Not for people to say, "Look at us," because we love you, and I want you to feel the love of God. That God heard you today. Whatever you needed today, I didn't plan on doing this, 
It was after I prayed, God said, now bless him. This is what God told me. My precious on my heart. He says, you say bless him, now bless him. Now, I don't have much. I'm not rich. I haven't been on the road or nothing like that. I just want to be a blessing to you and your family. I want to be a blessing to Sister Ryan and them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the heaven come down to earth. It says in the book of Acts, it says that they were all together and they shared and one didn't lack, but the other one shared with everyone. Father God, we know that your spirit breaks out when there's love, compassion, and kindness, God, and unity in the body of one heart, one mind, because we have one love and one king. Oh, baptize them in fresh fire, God. Baptize them in fresh love. I got two more families I'm going to send. Jesus, 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 I love you. Jesus, 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 I love you. I like this. I got an email from Love Always. It says, Love Always. How can I match? <laughs> Let's do it, man. Let's do it, man. Come on. I'm, I'm waiting for Ryan. Ryan didn't send it to me, man. Ryan hasn't came in unless it went to my spam. I'm waiting on you, Ryan. Vincent, you can you can send to the uh I'm waiting on Ryan. I just sent uh to the Vasquez family. If you want to match me the 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 Vasquez family, I sent 150. If you want to put 50 or whatever, uh you could uh send it to um money uh money sign Brian B R Y A N N T R E J O. I'm sending it right now. When I'm done right now, y'all y'all don't have to continue. We let just bless them before we go. I have I can't see Ryan's. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, amen, Sister Samantha. Thank you, woman of God. Bless you. Even if you can't, like, even if you you can't, and that's she said, I gotta get in in, in agreement with my husband, but I want to send something in the morning. But even if you can't, you praying and and just your heart to want, God to honor that. You don't gotta be much. Just because you want to pray, just because you want to help, even those out there who can't, just saying, God, bless them, bless them. That that type of celebrating those who are happy to see them blessed, that's what honors God. That's that's no heartbeat of heaven, y'all. That's what I be on. I just want to see them blessed. I'm trying to see. Ryan, yours didn't come in, Ryan. I want to I want to bless your, your wife. I don't know where Ryan is. You just didn't come in, only the Vasquez family. I'm going to pick one more since Ryan didn't come in. I'm trying to wait for you, Ryan, but I'm going to pick one more family. Father God, lead us to the family that needs it right now. Or those who are really in need, Father God. You know who she is. You know who they are. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, okay, I got Ryan. I got you, Ryan. About to send you 150 right now you go bless her if somebody want to match me this 150 cho you want to match put a 50 or 100 on it let's bless them she has a family of three 150 can only do so much you know what i mean oh i see some soldiers sent some right now Ugh. i'm about to send you 300 somebody just matched me Ugh, i'm about to send you ryan right now hey ryan go in the name of, when you when you send it say in the name of jesus god here's your prayer in the name of jesus you are loved this has oil on it, right? I'm about to send you this 300. Copy. See how we do it, y'all, together? Ugh, we, we stronger together, y'all. Oh, God, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Ryan resented. There it goes. In Jesus' name. Bless your heart, man, of God, for loving, for still loving her as a, as a woman of God. She, even if she ain't your wife, you're looking at her as a sister in Christ and you care about her needs. Ryan, right here in the name of Jesus. We just sent you 300 in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Oil. I pray that she feels the love of Christ. Woman of God, if you see this video, just know God loves you. That even when you weren't here, that God was thinking about you with his children. Thank God for you, your family, your household. Repent from anything that's wicked, woman of God. And pursue the purity of Jesus by faith. And obey him because you love him. And he loves you. Amen. I just sent that 300, right? Uh, I love you, Lord. I love you. I love you, man. God, you're so good. Ricardo said, thank you, Brian and Kingdom Music family. I ask that God keep using you as an instrument for his kingdom. To God be the glory, man of God.
to God be all the glory in Christ Jesus. We can't take none of his glory. This love that you see inside of me, this compassion and concern for strangers, this is the love of Jesus that flows from my heart. God, continue to give me a, a heartbeat from heaven, God. Oh, I love you, Lord Jesus. Bless them, family. Bless you, soldier. I'm going to pick one more. Okay. I don't want to do zeal because in my fam, my, my number, it's on my number, man. So if 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 you zealed, if you zealed me, I can't put my number out there. I tell you what, email me. I I do you the number. Jose, email me at kingdommusic25 at gmail.com and I send it from there. I just don't want to put my number out here because it'll go crazy, crazy. If you want to. If you want to zeal, just do uh, kingdommusic25 at gmail.com and I'll send you, I'll send you my, uh, my zeal. Just don't. And you have my number too, but be, be mindful of the number, please. I got one more family. One more family I want to bless in the name of Jesus. You know who you are. One more family. There was a woman named Satasha. She had a sister or her a sister-in-law. Satasha, is that her name? I want to bless you. I want to bless your sister-in-law. You know who you are. Let me see your message. Message me right now, Satasha. I forget your name. I just seen it. That's what God put on my heart. You're the, you're the third one I'm going to pick. Email kingdommusic25 at gmail.com right now, please. Please. I want to, I want to send something to your, to your sister. I'm going to send her another one. Oh, somebody just sent 200. I'm going to send her 300. I'm going to send her three, uh, 350. You know who you are. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for being a provider for them. Thank you, God, that they can feel your love. Thank you, Father God. Oh, I love you, Lord. Oh, I love you, Lord. I love you, I love you, I love you. Hold on, where's she at? There she goes, Satasha Lyles. Yep, Satasha Lyles. Satasha, I want you to email Kingdom Music 25 at gmail.com M-U-Z-I-C Kingdom Music but with a Z right now please before I get off in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God thank you Lord for looking down on your children I wish I could do more tonight y'all Lord bless them in the full abundance God bless them in the full abundance listen if I couldn't get to you guys it's okay celebrate the ones we did get just celebrate them. God is with you. If, if you want to match, you want to send something to one of them, all you got to do is put their name in it. Say, I want to send something to this family. Satasha, so yes. I want you to bless them. I want you to do the right thing. What's up, Jose? I'm just going to, I'm just going to reply, man. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Yes, you're about to bless her, Satasha. It's gonna be beautiful. I need you to I need you to email me right now before I go, please. Stasha. I said Satasha. <laughs> Stasha. Yeah. I'm praying for you. Praying for your family right now. Eve's boy. Praying for your family right now. God, meet them, meet their needs in the name of Jesus. I'm praying right now for Mrs. Faith. Bless their families in the name of Jesus, God. If you want to match me for one for one of them, put Cash App um, money sign B R Y A N N T R E J O. Maybe we could do something for this family. Give me wisdom, Lord. 
what's of you and what's not of you, Father God. Give me wisdom, Lord. I know, Jose, I just sent you back to Zeal, man of God. Lord, I love you. I thank you. Heaven on earth right now. Compassion and kindness, Father God. Bless him, Lord. Satasha, I haven't seen your email. You got to email me. Kingdom Music 25 at gmail.com. Music with a Z, M U Z I C. Tasha, I need you to do it before I go. I'm praying for you, young SA214. You just sent me a message to pray for you. Bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, you know the needs and every supplication and request that they have. Lord, meet them where they're at, Father God. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying for Yanira Fuentes, for her cousin Jose, who's fighting for his life in ICU after being shot in the head. Oh, God, please, Lord, I pray for healing, Lord, recovery, Lord, and health. Save him from death. Save him from pain, Father God. Use him. Use his life, God. Use his life, God, to bring you glory. Please, Lord, your will be done in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Satasha, you got to email me right now. I'm going to go on to the next. I don't want to miss out. I'm, 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 I'm trying to give you time. Email me right now. Kingdom Music 25 at gmail.com. Please. Five more minutes if you if i don't get your email i'm gonna go to the next we I ju we just communicated you gotta send me this email right now kingdom music 25 at gmail.com woman of god satasha i want to bless you for your for your sister-in-law Kingdom Music 25 at gmail.com music with the M-U-Z-I-C Andrew what's wrong Andrew why are you shaking your head bro love you fam bam God loves you yup no you spelling the music <laughs> Is Kingdom Music, two M's, M U Z I C, not a S, M U Z I C 25 at Gmail. You know, I'm about to send you this. Thank you, Jose, Brother Rob. Jesus, Jesus. Sending a, sending a prayer. Thank you, Jose. Salute. I'm going to send it to her right now. Praying for healing over Vic. Praying for healing over Brenda. Betty. In the name of Jesus. For her, her husband, David. Thank you, God, for Jose and all the people who, who match. Thank you for Jesus, Jesus Movement. Thank you for Chocho, KMF, Northwest, our brothers out there in Washington, in your Portland. Shout out to Luke and all the brothers, Cecil, Theron, all, all of them, man, all my Triple R brothers. Satasha, man, I'm going to give you three more minutes, man. Please message me. If not, I'm going to have to go to the next one. I want to bless you. Oh, that'd be ugly. If you, don't, if you don't get a hold of me, that'd be ugly. I really wanted to help you. for 
pray for you, Daniel. God is a healer. God is a provider. Yup, somebody, look, soldiers for God trying to tag you. There it goes, but you got to put it together. Derek Trevino praying for your family right now. Praying, praying for you. Oh, bless you, Derek, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Sister Nicole. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for your words. Praying for Sean right now in the name of Jesus. God's, God's hand. God's blessing over you right now. God's love over your heart and your mind right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Tasha, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to. What's it called? I don't. I don't. I haven't got. I haven't got. I haven't got your your email. I, I sent the email like 25 times. It's Kingdom Music 25 at gmail.com. Spell Kingdom Music. Just don't spell it with an S. Put a Z. M U Z I C 25 at gmail.com. I gotta go. So before I go, I'm trying to wait. In the name of Jesus, I'm trying to wait for you. I'm going to wait for you. Just, I don't want you to go crazy. Just calm down. If you're getting anxiety, <laughs> like he's going to, I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to have patience and wait for you. I just can't wait all night. I got to go too. But I'm waiting for you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to bless him, be a blessing to the family, man. Los, big Los, what's up, soldier? It's Kingdom Music 25. Why do y'all wear big jewelry? Isn't that part of the world? TS, you can have a chain You want if you want a chain. You want to know what's part of the world? It's the mindset. It's not the jewelry. It's not the hoodie. It's not the snapback. It's the mindset. That you love this more than you love that. Do you think I love the chain or you you don't see nothing on you think I love that more than I love him? You're wrong. I don't. Thank you, man. Shout out Sean in Sacramento. That's my brother, man. You know what it is. Chop chop talk, man. KMA, baby. Email. Already. Man, Satasha, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, sis. I'm trying to wait for you, man. You keep saying the same thing. I can't call you right, right now, Ryan. I love you, bro. I can't call you right now, though, bro. Ain't it crazy when people look at the way you, you look on the outside and, and say that you're part of the world? And they don't know what's fruit and what's not. for Melissa Lonsdale I didn't see her I'm praying that God will provide and meet her where she's at I'm praying for Melissa God that you'll, you'll touch her heart and her mind I tell you what man if man if, if I can't get if, if Satasha doesn't get a hold of me right now I might have no choice but to, to, to try to help another family sis I didn't I sent the, the email like like 30 times Kingdom Music 25 at gmail.com. Kingdom Music 25 at gmail.com. I didn't even, please answer me. I didn't even see your question. 
it, 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 look, if I can't answer every question, it's because I have 408 people right now and all my messages on this screen is like whoosh, just going crazy. So it's hard to see every single one, y'all. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trying to help. I know they don't know me for real. It's easy for people to dissect and critique how you look. And I would do this different. I wouldn't wear that. But you want to know what the truth is? There you go, Satasha. Hey, come on, sis. I see you now. Hey, just bless them. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, if if, if everybody likes you and, and and you didn't have no naysayers or people to say you're not doing you're doing something wrong because. People shouldn't understand everything that you do. You know what I mean? The Lord is, the Lord will use something that the world calls foolish to confound the wise. He'll use something that people say, hey, man, you sitting with, with the tax collectors or you sitting with the sinner. Why you sit, eat with the gangbangers? Why, you know what? I'm eating with them. I'm not compromising with them. Yeah, I got a fitted hat. They got a hat. I might have a Kino music chain. They got, they got their record label chain, but I guarantee you, man, none of this. I give this at the drop of the dime. This, this stuff does not make me. This is, this is my goal. This is what I this is what I hold on to. This is what I apply to my life. And that's the truth. My Zell, thank you, man. Some, somebody want to help. There's a there's a, a lot of families messaging me right now. A lot of families. They need help, man. I wish I could help everybody, y'all. Bless him, Lord. God. Our Christian podcast would love to interview you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could do that right now. I'm, I'm so booked up on, to be honest, I'm so booked up on, on different podcasts I'm supposed to be on and all kind of stuff, man. I've just been, been very, uh, it's very dis dis resting, you know what I mean? I not putting too much on my plate right now. Not putting too much on my plate, just trying to just trying to be balanced. Like I got a lot of stuff, man. It's easy to stay busy for me. Like even with bookings, like I require uh inquires, like they come like this. Like, you wanna come here, you wanna go there, and I wanna be home. I wanna be with my baby. I, I wanna disciple the men. I, I wanna I wanna help out here. To, they can keep the rap stages they can keep they can keep the all oh, that man i just want i want to be famous i want to be faithful man i love you lord i love you i love you i love you lord thank you father god God bless you, Mario. God bless you, Sean. God bless you, Lupita. God bless you, Ryan. God bless you, Lynette. God bless you, Frank. God bless you, Maria. God bless you, Abraham. Man, I wish I could bless every single one. Father God, you know what they need, Lord. Be everything that, that I can't be. You're God. Be God to them, God. In the name of Jesus, be God to them. Tasha, you go bless him. You bless him, Satasha. Like I'm sending this, I'm sending all this money to you to bless him. I'm sending you $350 to bless him. I hope you do the right thing with it, okay? Don't keep. Don't keep nothing for you. Bless him. It's a lot of money. You go bless him. You show him the love of God, woman of God. Okay? In the name of Jesus, I just sent it. Let me tell you something, guys. If anybody was on here scamming tonight or trying to get over on the kindness of, 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 of his heart, all you're going to do is curse yourself. Trust me. You'll put a curse over everything that you do. 
I've done it. I've done it. I've cursed myself. When I was in the streets and I used to take advantage and manipulate people from selling drugs to robbing to pimping to whatever we were doing, right? Manipulating our way, telling, hey, go do this, get some money. Like, these are the things we did in the street life. That money that came fast, that was a knot, it went that fast. It brought a curse. It brought robberies. It brought indictments. It brought, it brought a lockup. It brought no peace. The Bible says I would rather eat a thin piece of a crust of bread in peace than a feast in a house full of tension where everybody has everything but there's no happiness. And that's how it was when I used to have so much the wrong way and no happiness. Now everything that I do got, I got it the right way. And there's, there's a contentment, there's a grateful a gratitude in my heart. Lord, I pray for everyone that we got to bless today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. There's some more people, Father God, that I wish I, wish I could help tonight, but I don't got no more. And I sow these seeds of righteousness, and I just not, not to get nothing in return, God. I, I just want them to feel your love, God. I want them to feel your love. Bless them in the full abundance, Father God. You are who you say you are. You are King of kings. You are the provider. You are Lord of lords. And I get excited to wrap my arms around people from here to there, even, even on social media, God, that they can feel the love of Christ. They can know it's genuine when they look in my eyes and, and they know like, hey, man, this is real love. They're like, there's no strings attached. This dude doesn't want nothing in return. He just wants to be a blessing because God has blessed me with peace. And I just want people to have peace tonight. And it only comes from the Prince of Peace. So bless them, Lord, in a full abundance. Bless their families, their households. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you. You see all these prayer requests. You see all these people in need. Lord, I can't get to all of them, but you can. You can, God. It's okay in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Man, come on, for real, though. That went fast, didn't it? Bless you, God bless you guys, man. Bless you, Satasha, man. Bless your loved ones, man. Vasquez family, bless you. Thank you, Lord. I want to hear a new song before I go off the, off the album. Now we love Jesus. Let's get God the glory. Come on, y'all. Yeah, yeah. hallelujah. And if you're doing something wrong, and if you on here trying to cause trouble, you need to repent. <laughs> you need to repent. Come on, man. Let me do another. Let me do a, something. Let me do something before I go. You could you could hear something new. Bless you. Hope this encourages you right now in the name of Jesus. I hope it encourages you. Oh, this is beautiful. Here we go. Beast for the street. Give him heaven podcast. Yeah. Even through my rainy days and my lonely nights, I'm living by faith, never walk by sight, oh God. I'm gonna trust you Even through my rainy days and my lonely nights I'm living by faith, never walk by sight, oh God I'm gonna trust you I'm gonna trust you, God Thank you, Lord I'm gonna trust you, God Hey, you don't read enough, you don't pray that much How can you connect to God if you refuse to stay in touch? There's no relationship, you're not legitimate You have no personal interest if you're not intimate You have no fellowship if you're not in agreement with Him Long as it's convenient for your achievements, you treat Him different No discipleship, no accountability Without no structure, you never have real stability A kingdom mind should always desire to be good like Him if there's no kindness in your heart, then you don't look like him. You don't celebrate your people, you just tolerate them. 
You start hating when it ain't you that gets nominated There's some stinginess inside you when you talk to others You never go half on the bill like fam, I got it covered When you withhold from blessing others, then you fail the test If you got more than enough for you, you should share the rest I seen a homeless man laying on the sidewalk I had to pull over what I looked like trying to drive off My nephew took off his Jordans and put some shoes on him Somebody pulled up beside us and left some food for him be careful how you entertain strangers Sometimes you can entertain angels Selfish and so greedy human beings could be pitiful They ridicule whatever seemed biblical Trying to help someone in need Yet you act like it's difficult Turn your head like these people invisible You so miserable Individuals who practice kingdom principles If it ain't beneficial I don't care if it's permissible Unconditional love given to the criminal He forgiven this criminal I don't live like a criminal I feel like I'm the savage Barabbas who got released An innocent man was killed And I know it should have been me Just like the Roman guards It was many ways that I struck you Forgive me for the times that I shoved you and even Cut it was the goodness of your heart that made me love you. Sincerely, I surrender my savior today. I trust you. Even my rainy days and my lonely nights, I'm living by faith, never walk by sight. Oh God, I'm gonna trust you. Even through my rainy days and my lonely nights, I'm living by faith, never walk by sight. Oh God, I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust you, God. Oh, come on, Jesus. I'm gonna trust you, God. God is good, y'all. Hey, I love you. Jesus loves you, man. Thank you for every single one of y'all that reached out to be the hands and the feet of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Being a blessed to be a blessing, man. Loose hands, man. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Salute.